barbell ATG split squat. Now, first things first, getting to the setup of the exercise, making sure that the bar is set at shoulder height. This just makes it easier to unrack. And before I get into this, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be facing the opposite way and walking the, way, the weight out in front so that you can see what I'm doing. However, when performing this exercise on your own, make sure that you're facing the rack, unrack the weight, perform the exercise, and then re-rack. The reason we always wanna face the rack whenever we're doing any barbell exercise is that way we know where we're going and we know where to put the weight back. Otherwise, if you're doing it the opposite way, like I'm about to do, it can be hard and sometimes you can miss the J hooks and the bar can slip down on you, which is dangerous. We wanna avoid that. So again, I'm just doing it this way so you can see what I'm doing. So get into the exercise. First things first, set your grip, make sure it's even, head comes under, shoulder blades come back. This promotes a shelf for the bar to rest on, physically squeezing your traps back together, also helps with good posture. And then I'm gonna get set into a split lunge position. And you're gonna notice this movement is different because I'm going horizontally. A normal lunge is up and down, whereas with the ATG split squat, I'm traveling as far forward as I can. And push back. See how I'm traveling far forward? This sometimes requires a longer split stance as well than the traditional split squat. So don't be afraid to step out further in front. Now, making sure you do both sides and then re-rack the weight. So you'll have noticed, like I said, it's horizontal movement. We're going forward and back as opposed to up and down. Right, that's the big difference. The other things to uh, keep in mind when performing this exercise is you're gonna feel a great deal of um, strain and work happening at the end range of your knee. That's good so long as it's not bad and hurting your knee. It's just putting a lot of emphasis on that end range. Don't use momentum. Oftentimes a common mistake is people will come down in this position and sort of bounce out. We wanna avoid that. We wanna be in full control, come down and then come back. If you feel your heel lifting a bit on that front leg as you come down into it, that's okay, that's fine. Um, the real big goal is to just get as deep and as far forward as you can. Something else to keep in mind is make sure you actively keep your back leg straight. If it remains bent, it's gonna physically limit how deep you can get, if that makes sense. So that's something else to keep in mind. Other than that, again, focus on control. Don't focus on just pumping it out and getting it done. And this isn't an exercise that you'll traditionally be able to use a lot of weight on. So just keep that in mind as well. It's more of a mobility and end range strength exercise.